This video shows how to generate an aligned section view and a detailed view in Katia. First, we're going to download the part. And then we're going to follow the given naming convention to rename the part. Right click the name from the top of the specification tree. Go to the properties to change the part name. You can continue to use the updated part name to be your file name. Use Save Management to carefully select the part you want to save, and then do the Save As. Your part name should be consistent with your file name. Now we can switch to the given template file. Use the same file name to be your drawing file name. Let's update the title block. The part is named as a cover. Update your name. Update the completion date. Now we can switch back to the working view to generate the orthographic projection and the rest of the views. Use the front view to create the front. Select the YZ plane to show the front view. Let's continue to reduce the scale of the front view. After it, we can use the front view to project the top. Click the projection view. The rest of the views we want to generate will include the isometric, the aligned section view, and the detailed view. To the isometric view, because of the limited room, we want to keep the scale of the isometric view to be the half scale of the orthographic projection. Click the frame to move it to the upper right corner. Make sure the top view is the primary view by double-clicking the frame since the section view will be projected off the top and should be aligned to the top horizontally. If you want to create the full section view, you want to focus on the top, use your mouse to click from the top all the way to the bottom to see the full section view. However, the full section view will not present the symmetrical feature of the cover, which is not the correct view. Continue to try the half section view. You have to assume a quarter is removed by bending the cutting plane to generate the half section view. However, it is still not a good choice. So the correct one to use is aligned section view. By following the conventional practice, we want to follow the center line to go over the center of the lug to have the aligned section view created. To align section views, uh, you want to assume the lock can be moved to the vertical position, and then from there, you do the true projection. Follow the name of the cutting plane line to name the aligned section view as section A-A. -A. The purpose of the section view is to show the interior feature as a visible features. So the hidden feature behind the cutting plane are not important. We normally want to hide the hidden lines in the section view. Continue to double click the section lines to operate the material properties. You can change the pitch value here to increase 
the number of the section lines in the aligned section view. The smaller numbers you have, the more section lines you're going to create. Adjust the length of the center lines. Make sure they are visible in the section view. A detailed view is used to show a small feature at an enlarged scale comparing to the scale of the orthographic projection in the title block. Click the center of the lug. Use a circle to capture the detailed view of the lug. You want to leave the scale of the lug on the drawing since it is different from the scale listed in the title block. Make sure you change the font style to have the uppercase letters. Next, we're going to delete all the center lines in the lug and then generate the circular center lines by using the center line with a reference. Click the small circle and then continue to click the big circle to see the center line with a reference. Carefully select the small circle and the big circle each time to generate the center line with a reference on the three lugs. After that, you can press down the control key to use your mouse to click the small square in the each direction so that you will be able to extend the circular center line to have all the circular center lines connected. This circular center line is referred to as both circle, which help define the position of the lug. Remember to update your title block. Switch back to the working view this is the time we want to convert the drawing into the PDF file. Switch back to the part. We can use the Photo Studio Easy tool to generate a rendered image. Use a select scene to choose your favorite background. You can also zoom in or zoom out to adjust the size of the cover to place it on top of the table. You can choose the options to change the quality of the image you can use your mouse to select a rendered area and then render it. After you finish rendering, you can use the save icon to save your work. You can also change the file style. Open the photo file to take a look. Open the PDF file to check your drawing. Thank you for watching.